Now, as you may have known, Grab is a super app launched in the Southeast Asia region. But you know, it started with like public transportation, right? Bring you private hire vehicle services. But it's more than that right now because it has grown from just a transportation service or even food delivery app to something much more, something more finance and payments related and even other services that they are looking to expand. So in this video, let me just help you explore how you can use your Grab app like a pro and really use it to maximize the cashback, the rewards and everything related to the Grab Super app. First up, let's start off with Grab Pay Wallet. Now, Grab Pay Wallet is actually a prepaid wallet where you can top up your funds using debit card, bank transfers, and the most popular option being credit card because you can top up your Grab Pay Wallet with credit cards like American Express True Cashback and UOB Absolute Cashback where you can get up to 1.7% cashback. And those are still eligible for cashback for now because most of the prepaid wallets are actually excluded from the credit card rewards program. But the main thing is how can you actually use your Grab Pay Wallet. There are actually three types of payment. I'll start off with the first one being Grab Pay QR. Now I'm sure you have seen this kind of Grab Pay QRs along in your hawker centers, your kopitiams, or even those small provision shops, right? They will have this Grab Pay QR code sticker pasted at their storefront. And then you can just use your Grab app and scan the QR code so that you can use your Grab Pay wallet to pay for your purchases. And at the same time, you can earn up to 1.2% Grab reward points. So instead of using cash to pay for these small merchants, you can just use your phone scan the grab pay you don't have to withdraw your cash from atm you can get even cash back up to 1.2 percent so i think that's a really good way to pay because of the cashless method and we don't have to handle so much cash especially when we are more focused on hygiene after the pandemic the other way you can use your grab pay wallet is through grab pay online and there are only a few merchants that accepts grab pay online some merchants include q10 shopback phrases app genco and faith these are the few merchants that I see are still accepting GrabPay online. How it works is that these merchants for the payment page, they will ask you to log into the Grab app using your phone number and your OTP and then you authorize a payment for them to send to the merchant and then your payment will be successfully transacted. Likewise, you can earn up to 1.2% Grab reward points for these transactions because they are all paid out from the GrabPay wallet. Now, the last way to utilize your GrabPay wallet is through PayNow QR. This is a recently new feature, I think since last year, where you can actually use your GrabPay to scan those PayNow QR codes, whether at your hawker stores, whether at your small shops, and they accept PayNow QR, then you can try to use GrabPay. Because these merchants, even though they don't accept GrabPay QR, but if they accept PayNow QR, you can try to use your GrabPay to scan the PayNow QR code and it will be accepted. The only difference is that you will not get the 1.2% Grab Reward points because PayNow QR are not eligible for Grab Rewards. But as you know, certain exclusions apply such as payment to IRAs, CPF, Endowers and Dash Top Ups. So not all merchants with PayNow QR can actually accept your GrabPay wallet. Moving on, let's go on to GrabPay Mastercard. GrabPay Mastercard or GPMC is basically a prepaid Mastercard linked to your GrabPay wallet. So in order for you to use your GrabPay Mastercard, you need to have funds in your GrabPay wallet. And then when you transact using your GrabPay Mastercard, it will just deduct the funds from your GrabPay wallet. But you know the best way to use your GrabPay Mastercard is to use it on places where they don't actually reward you for using credit card. Like for example, in my previous insurance payments video, I talked about using the GrabPay Mastercard and use it on the AXS portal because you can use your GrabPay Mastercard on AXS portal to pay for merchants like your insurance companies or even other merchants listed on the AXS portal where most likely they won't award you any kind of credit card rewards or cashback. And with the GrabPay Mastercard, I believe it's soft a lot of people's headache if they are a low spender because as a low spender most likely you cannot hit those minimum spend requirements on those credit card to earn like higher tier of 5% 6% cashback right all these require like $500 $600 per month spending so GrabPay Mastercard kind of solved the problem because if you stack it with the American Express True Cashback or UOB Absolute Amex you get to earn up to 2.9% cashback right 1.7% from UOB Absolute Cashback and 1.2% from Grab Reward Points Platinum Tier so you at least two, it will be 2.9% cashback without any terms and conditions, no minimum spend, no need to think of which card to use, just use your GrabPay Mastercard for everything. 
I know you folks are tired of seeing Weibo apps because you all are smart people. You all have gotten your free Apple shares and free Microsoft shares since the last few months. But you know there are still some people who are clueless and haven't got their free stocks from Weibo yet. So this month, Weibo is actually offering you $100 worth of Google shares once you have deposited $1,965 and make 6 buy trades. And in addition, you get $8.88 worth of Meta shares for the current promotional add-on offer. The other condition is that each buy trade has to be at least 100 USD and the condition is that you have to hold your $1,965 for at least 30 days until the stock voucher is credited. But you may ask why such a funny number $1,965? It is to signify Singapore's years of independence since 1965. Happy National Day and as a channel with SG in its name, very proud to be a Singaporean, so I hope that this $100 worth of Google shares can make your day better. And that is so we can be stronger. Majula. Anyway, you have heard me talking about Grab Reward Points for some time, but you may not know what the Grab Reward Points program is about. This is basically Grab Reward programs for loyalty users because you can get up to 1.2% in terms of reward points. The more you spend, the more rewards you get back in terms of the Grab Reward Points. And you can actually use the reward points to go and redeem like in-house rewards like Grab Vouchers or even other store merchants. They have this kind of discount codes and you can redeem it using your Grab Points. Anyway, in order to earn the Grab Reward Rewards Platinum tier status, you need to get 4,500 points. That will average out to around $1,000 SGD worth of spending, which isn't a lot, right? A lot of people actually spend more than $1,000 a month. So I think Platinum tier is not difficult to get it. And the eligibility of the tier status works in six months period. So that means if you actually earn your Grab Rewards Platinum tier status in April, you'll qualify until the 31st of December this year. And in order for you to qualify again next year in 2023 January, you'll need to make sure you hit Platinum tier status at the second half of this year. So it's like a six months expiry. You have to keep churning so that you can maintain your Platinum tier status. But you may have heard of the bad news announced that from 1st August 2022 onwards, Grab Rewards will not apply for credit card payments within the Grab app. But I felt that it's not a big deal because most likely people who have been using credit cards on their Grab app to pay for transportation services or food delivery services will still continue to use their credit card just that they don't earn the Grab reward points because the credit card rewards like 4 miles per dollar or 5%, 6% cashback is much more attractive than the 1.2% Grab reward points anyway. So that's on the Grab rewards earning part but now I want to move on to the rewards redemption part. What is the best use case for your Grab reward points? Now if you look at the normal redemption rate is 500 points equivalent to one Singapore dollars. Every 2,500 points, you get a value of $5. That is the normal rate. In fact, for the normal rate, you don't even have to redeem anything. Let's say if you scan a GrabPay QR code, it will actually ask you if you want to pay using the GrabPay wallet or you want to redeem your points to make the payment. And when you redeem the points, 500 points will be equivalent to $1. So it will just deduct the points from your reward points balance instead of your GrabPay wallet. So there's really no point for you to do any kind of rewards redemption under the normal rate because you could just offset your points in a normal transaction, right? So what's the point of the reward points then? It is more important that you use it during the points back or the discounted redemption period where Grab occasionally gives you. For example, in a recent points back or discounted exercise, you can redeem Capital Star up to 20% cashback or 25% points back like what myself and many other avid users of GrabPay people did, right? Once they know of this GrabPay discounted cashback program going on, they will all chong to redeem their discounted vouchers, discounted cashback coupons because not only it is timely limited but it's quantity limited as well. Once the quantity finished, there's no more for you to redeem and you have to wait for the next round which may come in one or two months later. So you have to be very well informed on this kind of discounted cashback programs. And the best way is to join my Telegram group because I will announce to everyone when these kind of things come up. So join my Telegram group at HoneyMoneySG. Okay, next up, I want to talk about Grab Challenges because this is the only way you can accelerate your Grab Pay earning status. Every month Grab will issue a challenge for you to spend up to a certain limit so that you can earn additional Grab points on top of the usual Grab points that you will receive. One example is a recent August 8 challenge where you just have to spend $80 and $140 consecutively so you can earn up to 8% and 10% cashback. 
I did complete this challenge and got my 8% and 10% cashback subsequently. Also another example is a spending challenge where Grab will ask you to spend above a certain limit so that you can earn additional Grab points and maybe make like a minimum of 15 or 20 transactions and top up from your bank account or VPA transfers, all that stuff. If you have played online games before, this is more like a side quest where you can get additional rewards on top of your usual spending. So most people will actually consolidate their spending during this kind of challenge period so that they can use the lowest amount of spending to hit the maximum amount of points and that is how you maximize the grab pay strategy so having said all that what is the best credit card to top up grab pay there are only two credit cards for now which is the american express true cashback and the uob absolute cashback both of these cards gives you 1.5% cashback and 1.7% cashback for topping up to your GrabPay wallet. But in recent news, Amex has announced that the first $5,000 that is eligible for 3% cashback will not be eligible for GrabPay wallet top up anymore. So it kind of level out the playing field. Now, American Express true cashback is 1.5% and UOB absolute cashback is 1.7%. That's not much of a difference, but if you want to know the difference, then you can look at this video where I discuss my top 5 credit card strategy for year 2022. Because I'll go through what is the comparison between American Express True Cashback versus UOB Absolute Cashback during that period.